All right, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Uh, we're working on Osiri, and, uh, well, we have uh, our brother here in jail because he killed our dad. The involvement, uh, the way we were involved is not really known, but it's possible that uh, we were involved. And they got a new king in Norway, it looks like. Um, other than that, we're just kind of waiting for some money and waiting for stuff to happen. Uh, we're in a kind of a bad situation because some of our vassals don't like us. Matter of fact, most of them don't support this guy. Earl Domnall of Ossery is trying to usurp my title. Chancellor Bishop Art uh, is supposedly traveling around Kildare trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimize his claim on the title. I need to do something about it. We can make him disappear, lose 10 piety, or try to bribe him. Which makes us lose 50 gold, and he may still do it anyway. Uh, or we could let it be for now. I'm just gonna let it be. No. Oh. What? Why did everybody switch? Jerks. I would, I would execute him, but uh, he, uh, I would get Kinslayer for that. So I don't want to do that. Um, come on, Chancellor Id. Id. Just Ed. I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay. There's not really a reason for you to be doing that, is it? I don't think so. Oh. Cool. What? Oh, twins. Okay. Maybe it's like reverse psychology. Maybe if I support somebody that they don't like, let's support this guy. <laughs> Fine. We'll do it that way. Oh, I missed the hunt. Whatever. That costs money anyway. The church wants to organize a miracle play for a local saint in our domain. They feel they seem to feel that it would fall on our shoulders to pay for it. You could say it is for the glory of God and get ten piety for five gold. If the church wants it. The church pays for it. And the church. Uh, and this guy, who's our marshal, has a minus 33% uh, opinion. We'll take the hit. Get some piety. That's fine. We even have any kids? We don't. That sucks. And we have lustful, too. Hmm. Come on, Helga. We'll just get the smallpox. anything else going on. And one of the things I really like about the Paradox games, I'm sure I've said this before, is that you can just look around the world and see what's going on. Oh, get two increases. Stuff. Ooh, legalism, that's great. Not quite to the point where it makes a, any difference. I don't think it affects counts anyway. My liege, I have collected a tithe in Dublin. The money should reach you together with this letter. And we get 12, almost 13 gold. Thank you. Mr. Guy. And I should move him now that he's done that. Let's move him to Leinster. 
Um, I'm not sure about it, but I'm pretty... Yeah, and we get a higher tax there, too. But I think they have a higher chance of getting myrtleized after collecting a tithe, so... We don't want that to happen. Not to our 22 stewardship uh, guy. Who doesn't like us. Because we suck. Yeah, I really want to have a son so that we can uh, get some of the other stats worked on. But oh, whatever. I just have to wait. That may never happen, then we'll just have to drop it. Oh well. I wonder how stable the situation is going to be. He's at war with somebody. Pomeralia. They're supporting Denmark. Okay. Whoa! Speaking of stable. <laughs> um. Okay. Duke Morcar of Northumberland. I assume they're either fighting for independence or for the British crown. Duke Edwin. Parafor. Wait. Oh, he's sad. He's Saxon. Okay. Edgar's claim on... England. That's not this guy. Rather, Nettleson neighbor keeps sending me envoys begging for money or demanding tribute. I feel rather confused about his arbitrary ways and I'm not sure what to do. Let's pick this one this time. Just because. We picked the other one last time. Helga Krovan is contracted consumption. That's my wife. Crap. Well, maybe she's not really well suited for this whole being my wife thing. So who's Edgar? Who is Edgar and why are they supporting him? Oh, Edgar has a son. Okay. Weird. <laughs> Today my uncle Anna asked me for a fife of his own giver. I mentioned a church career considering that you are a bishop. Shut your face. Sixty gold. We're about a quarter of the way there. A little bit more than a quarter. Um, let's see how this goes. I don't know how distracted Norway is going to be. Is the war? Jeez, everybody's getting consumption. Oh, but she's pregnant. Okay. Excellent. Well, it looks like consumption hasn't stopped her from being pregnant, even though it does have a uh, penalty, I believe. Mouse was being weird. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. I guess coughing has nothing to do with the uh, genitals after all. Oh, okay. Are they still. No, they're not. Uh, they're not in that war anymore. Because Denmark already won. And they're not war with Normandy anymore either. Truce was signed after the Norman Conquest, even though the Normans didn't win. So he is still called the Bastard. It's possible for, for them both to get the Conqueror. A group of hedge knights has come to visit Dublin. Ed? Ed? Aid? 
has come to has met with them and asked for my reply. We'd welcome them with a la lavish feat. We could trade with Gregarious, gain 10 prestige, and lose 4.63 gold. Come here reluctantly. We've gotten this before. No, that one is bad. We'll get spend a little money. Get a little bit of good traits. Good traits. Increases our diplomacy. My metal my Nettleson neighbor has been rather quiet since I sent his envoys back with their hats nailed to their heads. I could say, go me! I wonder what happens if I do like this. No! No! That probably gets me the impaler trait. <laughs> Um, I don't want the Impaler trait. The Hedge Knights have participated in the minor tournament together with our knights in Dublin. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds has been severely injured. I'll pay money. Let's hope the baby doesn't have consumption. Everybody's getting consumption! It's gonna have a giant island full of, um, what's that disease called? Tuberculosis. We called Tuberculosis Land. It'll be like Doc Holiday. Everybody, everybody gets consumption. Do we have consumption? No. Oh, legalism. Cool beans. All right. Non-consumptive children. Great. Okay. Um, what are you good at? You're a child. You're not really good at anything. Uh, let's put him under this guy. Alright. I picked that tr thing because this guy is cruel. The, uh, nailing their hats to their heads, if you were wondering why I did that. Not just because, uh... Not just because it was the opposite of what I picked last time. And because I kind of wanted to show off the other way. I don't know if you get if you get Impaler for that, but I've been wondering how you get Impaler, and that seems like the way you do it. Maybe I will pick that if I have another leader who it seems like it would fit him to do that. Oh, it doesn't look like Norway's fighting back a whole lot. Aside from that initial invasion, Norway doesn't normally have a lot of dudes. Uh, from what I've seen, anyway. What? Isn't this the second time you've had consumption? Whatever. I don't know if you can get it twice. What are you doing down here, bro? Live in your life. Be a Norwegian. Yeah, France is pretty peaceful now. Although the Empire is being pretty, uh... This is Castile. Taking over some stuff. As they are wont to do. A daughter? Boo! Okay. You're good at martial. So let's go for a martial dude. Who's not me. And who doesn't have consumption. Yeah, you don't, you don't want characters who are uh, important hanging around people who have uh, bad diseases. Oh, looks like uh, Norway is fighting back now. Stop getting consumption, guys. Seriously. And everybody's dying of consumption. Actually, that's the first person to have died to consumption. Oh. If I moved my capital here... Uh, that would be a bad idea, because the culture flipping will happen faster if it's your capital. But it would get us out of the whole consumption range, but, uh, yeah. So in a couple years, ooh, we should do a hunt. Click. Hunt. Find that stag. Somewhere in the woods. 
All right. Oh, such a humble guy. I really do want Norway to lose this war. Sighthounds thirsted for blood in this gentle afternoon, and they brought us many hares. Why am I going after hares? I thought I was looking for stags or something. Ooh, Ivar Merchantson. Oh, he's Norwegian. Because his mother was Norwegian, apparently. So what is he good at? Sewer chip. You're Frankish. Whatever. He's already Norwegian. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Don Chad, why are you being so humble? Stop it. Um, I don't know if I explain this, but if you if you have a oh great if you have a uh, a tutor of a different culture, sometimes you will flip to the uh, culture of that person. Culture is just kind of this vague thing where it's like different. It has nothing to do with like uh, actual bloodlines or anything like that. Um, thirteenth of June. Okay. So having an heir, for example, that is a different culture doesn't necessarily mean that there was anything uh, bad going on. Like we could have a Norwegian um, heirs coming out of this place. Simply because the culture of the of the area is Norwegian, we haven't had that been that unlucky yet. But uh, when I was playing as the Byzantine Empire, that sort of thing happened all the time. From you know capitals and stuff like that. Nantes is uh, doing some stuff. Okay. Get more and more money. And I know I've been spending money on stuff, but sometimes you have to spend money to make money. The church is a greedy thing. Who always needs more alms, but I have deep pockets in for a good cause. Like this. Thinner wallet, but a thicker soul. And I lose a little bit of gold. That's from being that zealous, I believe. So That's fine. Hey, I thought Venice had some stuff down here. I got a little Venice flag, but uh, okay, whatevs. <laughs> it's very odd that Norway moved their capital here. I've never seen them do that before. Hey, you! Come on, do your thing. Get me a claim. Technically, I can't really control that many provinces anyway. But, uh. Yeah. I'll do it anyway. I don't care. So, how long have we been ruling? Not for 10 years. Well, from a technical standpoint, I think we can just look at the short reign penalty. And it'll tell us. Okay, uh, I th think short reign is is twelve years. I don't know. Yeah, legalism too doesn't actually affect um, counts, but. When we inevitably become a duke, it will matter. What's going on? I don't know who's making progress here, either way. Oh, looks like uh, that would be Norway.
But from a cultural standpoint, I believe um, anybody who is Saxon, English, um, any of the Celtic cultures or Norman can make uh, can make England or uh, Britannia. Who is English? I guess it just means Saxon. And this was just what they were talking about. I looked it up on a thing and it said English. I don't think that's a real thing anyway. Oh, that guy likes to dig in stuff. That guy's good at diplomacy. Okay. Oh, she's got consumption now. Oh, no, wait. She doesn't anymore. Okay. That gregarious, I think, really helped me with my vassals. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. That is no longer a natural death at 25. I highly doubt that. Alright, Inna, let's find a new wife for you. Amongst these bros. She's seven. That's not gonna work. Oh. She's already married. It's not gonna work either. You're a Norwegian. And it's not gonna help any. Let's check Scotland. Um, the Dukes of Scotland. Well, it's been a well. It's only been like ten years. Duke Dolphin. That's weird. Thirteen. Hmm. I don't know about that. Okay, uh, already checked him. Well, we might as well check these guys. She's five. Oh, but she is his heir. Unfortunately, I don't have any, uh, sons to marry off to them. That's unfortunate. What about Brittany? Guys, got any kids? No. Nope. We'll just hold off for a while. Doesn't really matter. Almost all of these characters are, are created after the game starts, so they, uh, oh right, that's my brother. I was like, what? Didn't his wife just die? That's weird. Steward Kethelen has some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. We can adopt his ideas, lose a little bit of gold, and Steward improves the economy until 81. Gives us an economy technology growth rate of 100%. Yeah, that's worth it.
Or it might not be worth it. We'll just have to see. Mecklenburg is still independent. Our war with Poland. I'm surprised Lubeck is still independent. Usually, either Mecklenburg or, De or uh, Denmark kills them. Or Germany. Sometimes they do that too. Come on, game. Give me random stuff. Too many guys named Domino. Okay. Well. <sighs> I guess we can go hunting soon. I hate it when there's long stretches of nothing going on. Not just because it makes it so that it's harder to expand, but just because it's kind of boring. But I suppose if you're gonna pick a safe area, you're gonna have areas, you're gonna have times like this. Is the disadvantage Russ? Somebody made Russ. I think. I think this was Rostov? Huh. And looks like the Cumans have become a king. Khan. Cool. Um. Oh, we got some people lacking an educator. You would benefit more from a military background. She's just depressed, it's fine. Well, that guy's not gonna get married. Or not gonna have any kids, I should say. Not that the king would want to marry his kids to me anyway. What? Oh, he's Norwegian. I shouldn't look at these guys. Arg! There's nobody around. It's a hilarious name. I already looked at that. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh, wait. And I already looked here, too. What about in Spain? Huh? Uh... I don't actually want that guy. I want this guy. I was just voting for the other guy to make you vote for him, but apparently you guys have changed your mind about that. 